is to start to focus on just the quality of breath that is coming in and out of your body right now. Don't worry about making any changes. Just kind of notice. Notice how your body feels right here in this moment. Notice the quality of the thoughts that are running through your brain right now. And then just like to bring all of that awareness, just all of that attention, just to the feeling of just the rising and the falling of your chest. So start to make your breath intentional. Give it a purpose. So feel your breath rise all the way from deep down in your belly. So the belly rise, the chest expands. And then as you exhale, feel the ribs contract and the belly fall. You can really actively keep matching the length of your inhale, the length of your exhale. And then we will keep this nice, slow, steady deep breath for the entire 60 minutes of this practice. And then start to bring your awareness more just from away from the chest into all of the parts of the body that are making contact with the ground and with your mat. And then you take the tops of the feet and press the tops of the feet down. Then you take your knees and bring your knees to the outer edges of your mat. And then inhale, take your hands and really reach your arms all the way up towards the top of the mat. As you exhale, press down through your hands and then really press your hips back and down towards your heels. Do it again, really big, full breath in, into your fingers all the way up towards the top. And then exhale, press your hips back and down towards the heels. And then just take your hands and walk your hands over towards the right side of the mat. Really reach out and up through the left fingers. Keep pressing the weight back into that left hip. And feel that stretch all the way through that whole left side. And then take your hands, walk your hands to center, switch sides, walk the hands over towards the left side. And then reach out and up through those right fingers. And then walk your hands right back to center. Just pause here for just the breath. And then nice and slow, rock up onto all fours. So stack the shoulders right over the wrists. Keep the knees right in line with the hips. So really as much as flattening out the back. So pull the belly in and up, flat spine. And then take your right foot, just take the right foot back. Just bring the toes first down onto the floor. So stretch out the toes, press the head forward, press the heel towards the back of the mat. And then nice and slow, lift that right leg so it's right in line with the hip. So again, don't let the belly kind of drop here. Really pull the belly in and up. And then you're going to take your left arm and reach the left arm forward. So you reach out through those left fingers, really kick out through that right heel. Just one more breath here, and then just bring that left hand back down, and then nice and slow, just bring the right knee down. You'll find a little bit of movement. Check out the wrist a bit if you need to. 
And then we're just gonna switch sides. So take that left leg, just extend it back first. Ready to point the left toes down. Really press that heel towards the back of the mat. So get the nice stretch in the toes, keep that leg super active, and then lift that left leg up. Really press down with that left arm, and then nice and slow, you'll take the right fingers and then reach the right fingers up. So it's like a counterbalance here. So as much as you're reaching forward, you want to kick back. So you're trying to find as much length as you can. Press the head forward, reach forward with those right fingers. Keep your core really engaged, belly in and up. And then bring that right hand back down. Bring the left knee down. Shake it out, find a little bit of movement. Shake up the wrist. Tuck your toes back into the floor. Lift your knees to just about a hover. Right above your mat, pull the belly in and up, and then lift the hips up, downward facing dog. You can find a little bit of movement here. You can cuddle out the knees, shake the head out from side to side. And take a really big full breath in. Lift your heels up as high as you can. As you exhale, bring the heels right back down. Do it again, big full breath in, lift the heels up. Exhale, bring your heels right back down. Take your hands, walk your hands backwards towards the feet. Ragdoll, just root down through the feet, send the hips all the way up towards the ceiling. Just keep a light micro bend of the knees and just kind of sway, rock a little bit from side to side. And then bring the hands right back down. Take your hands, walk out high plank. So we press your heels towards the back of the mat. Ground the head presses forward. Just one more breath here. And then lift the hips up, push up, downward facing dog. Take your gaze right between your fingers, bend your knees, make your way all the way up towards the top of the mat. And inhale, lift up halfway. And exhale, fold down. Press down through the feet on an inhale, reach all the way up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, bring your hands right to heart center. Press down through the feet on an inhale, reach up. And exhale, fold, come all the way down. And inhale, halfway lift, press the head forward, and then exhale, fold. Press down through the feet on an inhale, lift up halfway, plant your hands, step back, high plank. And then take your gaze slightly forward, shift forward, Slowly lower down into a low plank or come all the way down onto your belly. Lift the chest, upward facing dog or cobra, roll the shoulder blades back, press down to the top of the feet, and then lift your hips up, downward facing dog. Take a really big full breath in, lift your heels up. Exhale, bring the heels right back down. Gaze forward, bend the knees, and make your way all the way up towards the top. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Press down through your feet on an inhale, reach all the way up towards the ceiling. Exhale, fold, come all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Plant your hands, high plank. Come down, low plank, or all the way down into your belly. Lift the chest upward facing dog, a cobra heart presses forward, then push yourself back up, downward facing dog. Big breath in, lift the heels. Exhale, bring your heels right back down. Take your right leg, kick the right leg all the way up towards the ceiling. And then think toes, really point them down towards the ground, push out through the ball of that lifted foot. 
take that leg up just a tiny bit higher. Squeeze that right knee in towards your chest, warrior one on the right side. Yeah, see, we're gonna stack that right knee right over that ankle. And really press down through the outer edge of this left foot. So really press the feet down into your mat. And then you really wanna feel the ribs kind of hugging in towards one another. So keep the belly pulling in and up, pelvis nice and neutral. And then on your next inhale, you're gonna take your arms, reach your arms up as high as you can reach up. As you exhale, you're gonna reach forward, really reach towards the front of the room, keep that bend in that front knee, then exhale, lift right back up. Do it again, nice and slow. On an inhale, you wanna reach forward as far as you can. Nice and slow, exhale, reach all the way up. And this time you're gonna bend into that right leg, reach forward and then just kick that left leg right up off the mat, warrior three. So toes, point them down towards the ground. Reach those fingers forward, kick that left foot back. And as you come into a stand, you're gonna take your left knee, bring that left knee all the way in towards your chest, just reach those arms all the way up. Squeeze that left knee in. And then just take that left foot. Plant that left foot down. Sweep the arms back down. Inhale, reach up. Sink your hip down. Chair pose. Squeeze it in. Really just plant the heels down. Reach those arms up towards the ceiling. Take a really big full breath in. Reach those fingers up just a little bit higher. Exhale, sink the hip down just a little bit lower. Squeeze those legs in together. And then exhale, just fold right over your legs. On an inhale, halfway lift. Plant your hands down, high plank. Low plank or to your belly. Upward facing dog. Cobra press the heart forward. And then lift your hips up. Downward facing dog. Really spread the fingertips out wide. Take the left leg, kick the left leg all the way up towards the ceiling. Again, toes, kick them down towards the ground. Press out through the ball that lifted foot. Squeeze that left knee up in towards your chest. Point your foot down. Warrior one, left side. And really reach those fingers. Spread the fingertips out wide. And then really look down at that front knee. If you want that knee to be back right over that ankle, and you really want to engage this inner thigh and have that knee really track toward that pinky side toe of that left foot. And then next breath in, inhale, just really reach all the way up towards the ceiling and then fold, hinge, reach forward. And exhale, lift right back up. Ready, do that again. Inhale, reach up, reach forward. Lift, rise back up. And this time as you inhale, you're gonna reach forward, really bend into that left leg. Ready, lift that right foot up, warrior three. Really reach those arms all the way towards the front. Right toes, point them down towards the ground. It really does not matter how high these toes <laughs> come up off the floor. What, it mat what matters the most is that you're pushing backward and you're reaching forward. Just one more breath here. When you're ready, you're gonna slowly lift your arms all the way up to squeeze that right knee in towards your chest, squeeze it in. And then ready, you're gonna take that right foot, just plant it down, sink down chair. Come right into it. Again, like you have like a line running down the middle of your body. Hug everything on in together. Take those hips down just a little bit lower. 
Take your chest, lift the chest up a tiny bit higher. Sink down just a little bit lower and then exhale, just fold or right over your legs. And inhale, lift up halfway. And then exhale, fold. Do that again. Inhale, lift up halfway. And then exhale, fold down. Take your hands, walk your hands out slightly in front of you. And then you're going to take your left foot. Ready? Kick the left foot all the way up towards the ceiling. So standing split, standing leg raise, whatever you want to call it. So fingers can stay out in front of you. Fingers can walk closer towards you. Fingers can float above the ground or maybe come towards that standing leg. So really think about just pressing that left foot all the way up towards the ceiling. Press the crown of the head down. And then you're going to really root down to this right foot. You're going to bend into that right knee. Plant your foot. Spin all the way up warrior two. Flip that front palm. Go right back in reverse. And slowly lift right back up. Warrior two. And just kind of settle in. Just soften the shoulders down and away from the ears. Reach those arms in opposite directions. And then take that front palm again, ready? Inhale, reach up, reach back, reverse. You're gonna cartwheel your hands all the way down towards the ground, and then you're gonna take your right foot, ready? Kick the right foot all the way up towards the ceiling. So three-legged dog. So toes, pull them down towards the ground, and then bend your knee, open up your hips. So big full breath in, you're gonna kick that knee up just a little bit higher. As you exhale, you're going to bring that heel closer towards your feet. Yeah, press down through all 10 fingers. Breath in, kick that knee up a little bit higher. Bring that heel closer towards your seat. You're going to kick that right leg back up towards the ceiling. Squeeze this right knee in towards your chest. You're going to kick this right leg out towards the left side. So kick it across your body. So we're going to come into a fallen triangle. So you're going to take your left heel, bend that left heel down, and then you're going to take your left arm, Reach the left arm up. So really so much pressing down through the feet, pressing the hips all the way up towards the ceiling. So really find a lift, like someone trying to lift you all the way up towards the ceiling. Reach out through the left fingers, press the hips up. And then nice and slow, bring that left hand back down. Step that right foot back, plank. Squeeze everything on in together. And then lower down, low plank, go to the belly. Upward facing dog, a cobra, press the heart forward, roll the shoulder blades back, and then lift your hips up. Downward facing dog. Find the movement if that feels good. Or stay completely still. Child pose is always there whenever you need to. And come back to that nice, slow, intentional, deep breath. And then take your gaze forward, bend your knees, walk or jump, make your way all the way up towards the top. And then inhale, lift up halfway. And then exhale, fold. And you're going to take your fingers, walk your fingertips out slightly in front of you, and then this time, you're gonna kick your right leg. Lift the right leg all the way up. So expanding leg raise, just keep pressing the head down towards the ground. Left to right toes, kick them all the way up towards the ceiling. Again, your hands can come out towards the side, they can lift, they can come towards that standing leg, they can stay right where they are. Just really keep pressing the head forward. Really kick that right foot up and back. And then you're going to bend into your left leg. And then you're going to pull in that foot down. You're going to come all the way up, warrior two. Flip that front palm, reach forward, go right back, reverse. 
can come right back into warrior two and kind of settle on in. So your arms are extending directly from the shoulders. So when you take a look back at that back arm, to figure out where it is in space, and then slowly take your gaze back over those front fingers. Press down through the feet, pull the pull it out, very much. And then stick that left palm face up and forward. And reach up, go back to this. And then just cut with the hands all the way down towards the ground. And then you'll take your left foot, take the left foot all the way up. And you're like a dog. And then bend your knee, open up the hip. So I'm like lifting up that left knee as high as you can towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, bring that heel as close as you can towards your feet. One more big full breath in, take that knee up a little bit higher. Exhale, bring that heel closer towards your feet. Take that left leg all the way back up towards the ceiling. You want to squeeze that left knee in towards your chest and then kick that left foot out towards the side, to the right side. So it's going to go across the body. Now your back heel, that right heel, you're going to spin that foot, plant that heel down, and then your right fingers are going to reach all the way up towards the ceiling, fallen triangle. So again, you want to find as much of a lift as you can. So press the hips all the way up towards the ceiling. Really reach up through the right fingers. Just one more big full breath here. Stay for the exhale. And then bring your right hand back down. And you're going to step that left foot back. Plank. And take the gaze and the shift the weight slightly forward. We'll low plank here to the belly. Upward facing dog or cobra. Really press the heart forward. And then nice and slow lift up. Downward facing dog. Just take three full breaths here. And then just take your hands, walk your hands backward towards your feet. So just keep the feet hip width apart. Options, you can take your two fingers and latch onto the big toes and let your elbows fall out wide or reach on down and just catch your elbows for ragdoll. So whatever pose just kind of feels better to you or is more accessible at this moment. Just let the head really just relax down. Just shake it out yes, shake it out no. Release any tension you're holding on to in the neck and then just keep a light micro bend in the knees. Keep pressing the feet down, really press the hips all the way up towards the ceiling. And then release the grip on your elbows, your toes, and take your hands and walk your hands back out. High plank. Big full breath here, then push your hips up, downward facing dog. And then take the gaze slightly forward, bend the knees, and move your way all the way up towards the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, and then exhale, fold. Press down to your feet, nice and slow. On an inhale, reach all the way up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, bring your hands right onto your hips. So really press down through the feet. We're going to come into tree pose on the right side. So root down through the left foot. You're going to take your right foot and either bring it into a kickstand, bring it into the calf, bring it up above the knee onto the thigh. So anywhere except right at that knee. So I'm thinking about just pushing your right foot into that left leg, press that left leg back, keep that knee pressing 
towards the back. So don't open up through that right hip. And then your hands can come down towards the side. The hands can come together. You can reach those right arm, those both arms <laughs> all the way up towards the ceiling. Push down through that left foot, really press the top of the head all the way up towards the ceiling, find the length in space as you can. And then you take that right foot, just bring that knee in towards your chest. Kick that right leg out in front of you, flex the toes up towards your face. And then nice and slow, you're just gonna pendulum that right leg back. Just plant that left foot, lift up crescent lunge. So again, you can always carry out that front leg a little bit first than you need to, and then just work on kind of settling into crescent lunge. So crescent lunge can also be with the knee down on the floor, and you can untuck the toes, or you can leave the toes tucked and really press out through that back heel. So you really want that right heel to be as high as you can over the toes, and then really press the heel towards the back of the mat. And then you want to take that right knee, bring that right knee down towards the hover, Pass out through that back heel, really elongate and straight out that leg. Do that again, back knee down towards the hover, press out through that back heel, bring the hands right into heart center, roll the shoulder blades back and down. And you twist your torso over towards the left side. So keep pressing the palms together and you can stay right here or you can hinge and bring your right elbow outside of that left knee. With every inhale, you want to find more length and space in your body. With every exhale, you want to twist open just a tiny bit deeper. This is really big, full breath in, press the crown of the head forward. Exhale, twist open, just a little bit deeper. So if your head is still pointing towards the ceiling, think inhale, head up. Exhale, twist open. Now stay wherever you are in your twist. Really root down through that left foot. Ready? You're going to take your right foot, step it up to meet your left, come right into revolved chair. So pull back in, really press the head forward, exhale, biggest twist, really twist open. And then just exhale and just fold right over your legs. Just take the feet, separate them hip width apart or even just a little bit wider. Again, you want to release down so you can just kind of shake out the arms a little bit, shake out the head, bend the knee and the other. You can grab onto the big toes. You can grab onto your elbows either in front of you for ragdoll or behind you. And then just walk your feet back into touch. Inhale halfway left. And then exhale fold. Inhale, lift up halfway, plant your hands, step back, high plank, low plank, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. And then take your left foot, keep the left foot all the way up towards the ceiling. Just kidding, wrong pose. Bring the left foot right back down. <laughs> I forgot where we started at first. And then just take your gaze forward, bend the knees, make your way up towards the top. Lift up halfway, and then exhale, fold. And then just take your hands onto your hips, and then slowly roll all the way up to a stand. We're gonna do tree pose now on the left side. So really root down through that right foot, and then just take that left foot, and then again, if you need a kickstand, you can just place the toes right on the ground. You can take it onto the ankle. You can take it above the knee, onto that thigh. So anywhere on this right leg except at the knee. So again, really root down through that right foot. You might really opening up through that left hip. Keep pressing that knee backwards behind you. 
just kind of soften the gaze somewhere in front of you. Again, slow, steady, intentional breath. And hands can come to the side. They can come together. You can reach those arms all the way up towards the ceiling. Okay, plus down through that right foot. And then nice and slow, you're going to bring that left knee up in towards your chest. Squeeze it in. Take that left leg all the way up. Flex the toes towards your face. And nice and slow, you're just going to pendulum that leg backwards. Crescent lunge. Just plant that foot down. Lift the chest. So after your feet make contact with the ground, you can always move your legs out and rearrange your base. So you really want to feel steady and comfortable in the feet before we try to twist or make any other movements. So really root down to that right big tail mound. Really press that left heel towards the back. And as you're lifting your arms up towards the ceiling, try not to lift the ears up towards the shoulders. So drop the ear, your shoulders down away from the ears. And take your left knee, bring the left knee down just about a hover. And really press out to the back heel. Elongate that back leg. Bring your hands down into heart center. Then roll the shoulder blades back and down. Then you're going to take your torso, twist your torso over towards the right side. So keep pressing the palms together, lift the elbows so they're in line with one another. You can stay right here for revolved crescent or you can hinge and take that left elbow outside of that right knee. So either variation is completely okay. Take the one that's the most successful. It feels the best in your body. So every breath in, you want to let the crown of the head really pushing up towards the ceiling or lengthening forward. Every exhale, twist open a tiny bit deeper. Ready? One more big full breath in. Exhale, twist open. Now stay right where you are with the torso. Root down to that right foot. Step that left foot back. Revolve chair. Yeah, keep squeezing those legs in together. Keep the knees nice and in line. So want to keep the hips nice and square towards the top. Take full breath in. Press the head forward. Exhale, twist open just a little bit deeper. And then just hinge and fold. And just come right over your legs. So you're going to take your feet, separate them hip width apart. And then we're going to come into a gorilla pose. So just going to take your hands palms face up and just step right onto the palms so you can bend your knees as much as you need to to make that accessible to you you want to try and get your toes up towards the wrist creases as much as you can and really think about pressing the balls of your feet into your hands and then really pulling up through the hands this is a great um, counter stretch in the wrists just let the head drop, relax it from side to side. Come back to that slow, intentional, deep breath. And then just release your hands from your feet and then bring your feet back into touch. And then from here, just walk your fingertips out slightly in front of you. Just take your right leg all the way back, bend into that left knee, just come all the way up for your two. Take those arms in opposite directions and then Rain out your front leg. So we squeeze and hug those legs in together. And then we're going to come into triangle. So press the hips backwards or reach forward as far as you can. Hip over. Take an asana. So bring that left hand down either to a prop or something you have close by. Or bring it right onto the left leg. And then really think about your torso and then your top arm reaching all the way up towards the ceiling. Again, the gaze can come wherever it feels the most comfortable in the neck. It can stay down, can come towards the side wall, 
or you can lift it up towards those right fingers. And squeeze and hug those legs in together. One more really big full breath. Raise the exhale and then nice and slow rise all the way up to stand. And then just take your left toes and point them towards the side of the mat. And then take your right toes and flip them towards the back of the mat. So we're going to come into warrior two facing the back. You can really root down to the feet. Think about your foundation. You're going to strain out that front leg. Really squeeze those legs in together. Hips, send them backwards or reach forward and then tip. So right hand, bring it down towards that right leg or something that's close by towards you. Then you can reach those left fingers up towards your heels. Your foundation is the most important part of this pose. So really if you want pressing down through the feet, squeeze those legs in together. And every inhale, so not really pressing the crown, the head forward. Exhale, reach up through those left fingers. One more big full breath here. And then nice and slow, rise all the way up to the stand. And then take your right toes, put the right toes back towards the side of the mat. And then reach on down and grab a strap or a towel. So I'm just going to double mine over because my strap is really long. And I'm going to take it backwards behind me. So I'm going to think about my thumb pointing down. And then pop, like my um, palms face down. And then I want to keep my hand so that it's in line with the shoulders or slightly wider. I'm going to really root down to the feet on an inhale, take my gaze all the way up towards the ceiling, and then let's take a hinge forward. So think about having it coming first with a flat back. Keep pulling on that flat backwards, and then from here, I can take my head me down towards the ground and I can really reach those arms up overhead. Crossing down to the outer edges of the feet. Just relaxing, tension you're holding on to in the neck. And then just take your arms, bring your arms down to stay with your head pointing down towards the ground. So relax the shoulders down first, and then slowly just roll yourself up to the stand. I'm just gonna shake out the shoulders just a little bit, and then you're gonna flip, and now you're gonna bring that strap out in front of you. So hold your strap probably wider than your shoulders, and then you take your strap and shift up, up overhead. So really pull, keep really pulling on that strap, Really press down to the outer edges of the feet. And then we're going to hinge forward. We're not coming into a flat back. So press the hips backwards and then keep pulling on the top. You're going to hinge forward. All right. So now from here, we're going to start to go for a twist. You're going to bring your left arm down towards that right foot as much as you can. So twist, 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 twist. Keep pulling on the strap. Ready? Come right back to center. Right side, left foot. So it's not going to come right to the foot. It's going to probably come slightly in front. Ready? Switch sides. Go as close as you can. Keep pulling on that strap. Ready? Over towards the left. Come right back to center. Keep pulling on the strap. Then keep your flat back and slowly lift. Lift, lift, lift. Pull up towards the ceiling. Ball it back up to a stand. And then you take your strap. Take it down by the side. And shake it out. And then we're going to come into the top of the mat. Just come into step all the way up towards the top. On an inhale, lift up halfway. And then exhale, fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. 
and then make your way into downward facing dog however you want to get there so you can go for a full flow you can come right down into a child's pose you can just step right back into it we're just going to meet back here in downward facing dog And then you're going to take your right leg, keep the right leg all the way up towards the ceiling. And then bring the right knee in towards the chest. So come forward into a cheetah pose. And then you're going to take up your knee line like a windshield wiper. Ready? Right? You're going to bring it over towards the right elbow, then over towards the left, then over towards the right, then over towards the left, over towards the right, over towards the left. One more time to the right, to the left, to center. Take it all the way back up towards the ceiling. And then slowly lift that right leg or lower that right leg down towards the ground. And then just shake it out, find some movement, and then we're going to switch sides. So left leg, take it all the way up. Nice and slow, come forward, cheetah, squeeze that knee in towards your chest. Ready, windshield wiper to the left, to the right, 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 to center. Kick it all the way back up, really kick that left foot towards the ceiling, nice and slow. Bring that left foot all the way back down. And give your body like an ocean wave. You want to roll all the way into a plank. Set your head to blast. And on your own count, you're going to lower all the way down onto your mat. And when you get there, just bring your arms right down by your side. Bring your head and your ear down towards the mat. Just feel your heart beating in your chest. And then switch ears to so bring your other ear down towards the mat. Just take some time just to enjoy just a few moments of stillness in between all the moments of effort. And then from here, you're going to take your arms, reach your arms back up, find your strap or your towel. Again, I want to hold on to this wider than my shoulders, just slightly. So you are the wider, the better. So I'm going to reach my arms out, and then I'm going to come back and just bring my forehead or chin down towards the ground. So we're going to do a locust pose variation, where we're going to lift the arms up. So we're going to take a big full breath in. Exhale, release. On an inhale, press the hip bones down into the floor. Lift up, locust. So imagine more like you're flying, more like Superman or Superwoman. So really keep pulling on that strap. Reach those arms forward. Kick those feet back. Press the head forward. You're finding lift as well as length. Lift, 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 lift. And then slowly just lower all the way down. Just come out the hands, relax on that strap so don't keep over gripping right here. Just kind of roll out the fingers a little bit. Take a big full breath in. As you exhale, release, let everything go. And then we're gonna build on this. So ready? On an inhale, lift up, low. All right, so from here, we're gonna find a shoulder opener. So now as you inhale, you're gonna reach your arms up overhead. And then nice and slow, you're going to bring the arms backwards behind you. So if you're starting to feel like the elbows or your arms are shaking, you're going to stop right there at your lowest point. Maybe we'll go backwards behind you. And then on an inhale, you're going to lift right back up. Reach the arms back up overhead, lift up a tiny bit higher. And nice and slow, you're going to lower, come all the way back down. 
Again, release, wiggle the fingers, shake the hips out a bit from side to side. We're gonna do that one more time and we're gonna add on a little something else to that too. So come to the chin and the forehead, release, let everything go, ready and how lift up, locust. So one full, full breath, press the arms forward, ready as you inhale, to reach the arms up overhead. So take them slowly, slightly backwards behind you. Again, if your body tells you to stop, you stay right there. A little bit more, you can bring the arms backwards. So find your lowest point, and then you're gonna take your legs, kick your feet all the way up towards the ceiling. Yeah, okay, we're gonna stamp the ceiling, kick it all the way up, bring the legs right back down. All right, take the legs, kick them up, bend the knees, kick the ceiling, bring them right back down. One more time, stamp the ceiling, kick those feet up, bring them right back down. Your next inhale, take your arms, reach them up, reach up overhead, and then just come all the way down. Just let your hands fall away from the strap, shake out the fingers, wiggle out the hips a bit from side to side. Just shake it all out. And then roll right over onto your back. So just flip on over. Now you can take your feet and plant your feet right in line with the hips. And then take your arms right down by your side. So we're going to come into a bridge pose. So root down to the feet, root down to the arms. On an inhale, lift the hips up, bridge. So really see what kind of roll the shoulder blades underneath you. You want to really squeeze your glutes to lift the hips up as high as you can. So think about those inner thighs trying to roll in towards one another, really press down to the feet. Inhale, lift up to sit tiny bit higher, squeeze it in. And then nice and slow, just lower all the way back down. Just press the whole spine down, take full breath in. Exhale, release, reach down to the feet. One more time, just roll up, bridge. Again, you don't want to feel any pressure down here in that low back. So we're going to squeeze in those glutes, squeeze the glutes, lift the hips up. Press down through those feet, arms can stay where they are. You can interlace the fingers behind you or underneath you. You can walk the feet in a little bit closer, maybe reach back for the heels. Hips up, squeeze it in, lift up higher. One more breath. And then nice and slow, just roll all the way back down. And then just take your feet, walk your feet out a little bit wider than your hips. And then just let your knees just kind of collapse in towards one another. It's kind of like a scoop to body, not that it reclined butterfly, but just with an internal rotation versus the external rotation. Just not playing the whole spine down. Take your hands and place them wherever they feel the most comfortable to you. And your belly, maybe down by your side. Eyes can stay open or closed. And then just lift the knees back up and then take your feet and walk your feet back in line with the hips. And then take your right leg and cross it over the left. So try to get that ankle off of that left knee and then really press that right knee away from you. So keep the foot, the right foot super active. And then you just think about both knees dropping over towards the left side. We want to try and stamp this right foot right down the ground. So the hips are just rotating, just flopping right on down towards the left. So even though your legs are down on the ground, how do you keep the legs active? You want to keep actually pushing like this left knee into that right ankle. 
And then you want to keep actively thinking about pushing this right knee away from your face. Again, if you need a little bit more sensation, you can take your left hand and really press that right knee away from you. Two more deep full breaths here. Okay, if that becomes too much, you can always just let go and relax. And then nice and slow, you just roll yourself right back up to center. And then you just take your right leg and then cross your right leg at the side and then lift the legs up. There's my eagle leg. So I'm going to cross that right leg as high as you can and squeeze those legs in together. So if you want to kind of bend like the left and right almost into like 90 degree angles, you cut them in. Just drop your arms out to the T on either side and then drop your knees over towards the right side. And then take your gaze over that left shoulder. And then nice and slow, right back up to center, just uncross those legs. Hug it in towards your chest, rock a little bit from side to side. And then take your feet and then point your feet right back down in line with the head. And then you're going to take your left leg, cross the left leg over the right. Again, get really flexing that left foot, really press that left knee away from you. And then you bring your arm down wherever you feel the most comfortable to do. And then you're you're ready, you're going to shift your hips, just kind of drop the hips and the legs over towards the right side, and just stamp that right foot down. Again, you still really want to kind of feel that resistance, so really keep pushing that right knee into that left ankle and have your left leg kind of resist. You feel that opening right here in the outer most part of that left hip. Again, if that's enough sensation for you, you stay right there. If you want a little bit more, you can take this right hand, press it under the knee, and then maybe press that knee slightly away from you. Again, what you're looking for is sensation. Definitely not anything that's going to cause you pain. So anything sharp and stabby, if you're feeling yourself catching your breath, your body's way of telling you to back off. So listen to that. And then nice. yourself right back up to center. And then you're going to lift that right leg up, swing that left knee closer towards your chest, cross the legs at the side. So the eagle leg, just squeeze and hug those legs in together, drop the arms out towards the side, and make an eagle spinal twist. So drop the knees and legs over towards the left side, and then take your gaze over that right shoulder. So your right shoulder might lift up off the mat just a little bit. Totally okay. And then nice and slow, just roll back. 
towards the back and cross those legs. Take those legs down long on your mat. Take your arms up overhead. Point your toes. Take a full, full body stretch. And then take your hands and arms and shake them out down by your side. Take your legs. Take your legs out long on your mat. Take a really big, full breath in. Just exhale and release. Just let everything go. Close your eyes. Melt right down into the floor. Shavasana. Deep breath. Slowly try to deepen your breath. Try to bring some tiny awakening, intentional movements right back into your body. Whether so you're wiggling a finger on your hand or trying to wiggle out your toes, just moving. Slightly larger. Whatever feels good in your body. And then keep your eyes closed. Bring your knees towards your chest. And then roll over to whatever side feels the most comfortable to you at the moment. And then pause there just for a second. And think about one thing. Just one thing you're grateful for right here, right now in this present moment. And then make your way up into a comfortable seat facing the top of the mat. And then just keep your eyes closed when you get there. So not just sitting up really, really nice and tall, relaxing your shoulders down and away from your ears. And then just bring your fingertips to touch right at heart center. The light within me, even honors the light in you. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me. Namaste. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs>